So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places in my hometown, which is the uh, daily grocery store, where all the fresh veggies and meat and fishes are here. This is the first floor. And this is making zongzi. This is wei ye, is it? Nu wei. 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 And they have different uh, fillings like uh, red beans or dates, or some are straight up. This one, I guess, is a straight up. <laughs> I like how they feel that. And in the market, we also have some uh, fresh fruits and uh, uh, kind of homemade uh, dessert place. I'm on mission every day to get to the food here, so uh, my stepmom always gave me very detailed instruction of which booths to go to, or who are the people that is kind of uh, reliable, because I'm too standing out, not old enough to look experienced. So today I'm gonna get some... Um... Oh, look at all the tofu stuff. Is Uh, I'm getting this uh, duck blood and some uh, soft tofu. You can see my yeah? And I'm gonna use my phone to pay. Give me a sec. Okay, I got some duck blood and some soft tofu here. Now I'm going to keep walking towards the fish booth. According to the instruction, these, this is the one. Okay, we have different uh, food here. This is my target today, which is daiyu. Uh, Ah, I'm gonna double check. Okay, I successfully picked uh, these ones. Those are wider ones. I like those. Oh, can you more than has a bar? Uh, so these are wider ones. They're really delicious. And these are narrow ones. And this is the median. So they all have different prices. Uh, by double check, I mean I check with my stepmom, make sure that uh, this is the booth that uh, she always gets this stuff from. Uh, People are reliable and uh, make sure these dai uh, yu are the local ones. The local ones taste better. The meat is more tender. It just tastes better. <laughs> so we don't want those uh, from the far north. I mean the cold uh, water, cold ocean ones. And they also have these stuff. And normally you will have fly here. Not a concern to us at least and shrimp those are sea stuff that's why they're all dead and we also have ta -da -da -da. eels are they eels I don't know and small lobster river lobster they have a special name that I forget Phil told me before
there are many other uh, sea stuff that I cannot name them all. Bought something I used to love a lot. It's those snails. I kind of decided not to get it because we usually get that in early summer, which is like 10 days earlier. Now they usually have little seeds in it. I'm not sure if I'd like it. And um, I'm eager to finish my shopping on the second floor, then decide all those leisure fun stuff. According to the instruction for this floor, I'm gonna go right to the deep looking for those old ladies and old men who are selling stuff. Those are local people and uh, make sure all the veggies I have with mud. And uh, so go deep. It's the simple instruction. And see if I can get the stuff I want. Oh, those are the highest. Is some kind of a bean, really nice. Hard to grow in Canada. Same with this one. I tried last year, fail, total fail. It didn't grow taller than five centimeters, I think. But here is the natural climate for it. And uh, those are all fresh, fresh veggies, and most of them are plucked today. Because they will have hard time selling it if they're not. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping for a bit. Okay, uh, let's see what I got today. I got some uh, so fresh onion. It's a little bit heavy because I got some uh, uh, this thing. It's very heavy. I got some fresh onion, some uh, green veggies, a uh, tonghao, and uh, a kind of bok choy, different varieties. And uh, I think I won't get more stuff because I just cannot carry more. But everything just looks very... Oh! Did I get stuff with dirt? I think so. I think so. Oh, and garlic. I need garlic. So these are the pork stands. I'm actually looking for some beef. I don't know if I can... Um, I'm not sure if I can find them. They all look like a, like a pig stuff. Hey, get it, Dusman Zhu, you there? Man, you got it, Lala? Did you get it, Oh, oh. Okay, so get some instructions. Seems to be in the back. I'm gonna see. Here is some beef and a yellow beef. It's a kind of beef. We'll see how much it is. Get a new jeans, your dad. Um, just a new jeans. No, just a jeans. This one. This one is a new jeans. 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 里面有金的吗？里面没金，外面有点金。那个里面有金的那种五花的那种啊，有没有？带了带了带了带了。哎，现在又带了，刚才还说不带。是那种，是大理石花纹。哎，对，大理石花纹那种。对了。四个吧。你不是带这样的金的没有？哦，不要那种金。这是带大理石。这多少钱？多少钱一件？四十五。四十五一件。哦。哦。Now I'm on the way home. I just want to stop by and show you the loqua tree. Now this is the season for the loqua. It's very sweet and juicy. I think it's just the climate is different, but here it's just those loqua, loqua trees growing like almost everywhere in the city. And uh, it doesn't need much maintenance actually. They just bear so much fruit. Okay, now I'm uh, fully home and um, as usual, every time I come back, I get a lesson from my stepmom of like the dofu I get is the right boost for dofu, but not the right boost for duck blood. The better duck blood is upstairs somewhere, somewhere. And um, 
same with the beans I get. They're supposed to give me free green onion, uh, but I didn't have those. So anyway, that's just an experience. I don't consider that as a critic, but it's very cute of how the local, because I remember this when I was a kid, my, uh, you know, my family's the grandparents, they all do the same thing. Even when I was in the market, they were talking like, um, I can hear those uh, people buying stuff saying, don't put too much mud. But you know what, they all love to have some mud on the veggie so it's it's a fresh a sign of fresh but they don't want too much mud so when the seller is putting the veggies in the bag they were like oh shake the mud off you're putting too much mud it's weight uh it's so heavy so it's very cute and some of them start by mm, this veggie is not from today or it's not tender enough or stuff it's um it's just a very cute grocery shopping uh, culture here that I actually really enjoy. I love going there when I have time, I go there twice a day, like one in the morning and one in the afternoon, because in the afternoon, the hall, the entrance will be filled with different uh, free stand booths, and those people just uh, pluck some veggies and sell that right there. And I found that's very cute. Some of them are really fresh. You just look at the leaves and they just look really plump and juicy. Um, and the flavor is so different. So uh, that's so interesting and it's sweltering hot. Whew. Hope those videos are not too frightening with the fish head and all those kind of stuff for you guys. These are the beans I got. Uh, I don't know, I never, I probably see that in the North America. Uh, those are uh, with shells, so we still have to peel that out, and um, hopefully they're tender. It's just a week here that you can enjoy them at the best uh, texture, and a week later they become old and just doesn't taste good anymore. Okay, the beans that I got are obviously pretty old. I kind of knew that uh, that prime week has passed but I was like I want to try it because I cannot get it anywhere else so this is the desired one with barely any black line this is the getting there kind of getting black and this is like too old uh, edible we gotta figure out other ways to eat it but this is what we want really tender juicy full of flavors oh well missed that week okay now the fish are ready so i think i get the right one according to the expert it's uh the head the local fish have smaller head mm, those are one of my favorite fish because their bones are very easy to eat at. i mean easy to pick out because they have the they're pretty regular just on the edge here get rid of the bone here and the bone on the other side and the middle ones are like a rib so easy fish local ugly onion